Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install your Epson 7890 as a sublimation printer, on, a local printer, on your Mac computer. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is going to be the ICC profile. Now, you want to get that ICC profile from an email from someone at Condi. If you do not have this message, then just simply send us an email to support at condi.com requesting the ICC profile for your printer and the type of ink you're using in your printer. Uh, now this procedure is going to work for the Epson 7890 or the Epson 9890. Uh, first thing you want to do is download that, e that attached to the email to your down desktop. If there are more than one ICM file, go ahead and download every one of them. And then we're going to put these into the profiles folder. You want to click on go, then go to folder. We're going to type in forward slash library, forward slash color sync, forward slash profiles. Now these slashes are the same key as the question mark on your keyboard. Click go, and then you simply copy this file. Then in this window, we're going to paste it. I already have it there, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace what's there. It's going to ask us for the password to our Mac. So we'll go ahead and hit OK here. You'll put in your password. I hit OK because we don't have a password set on this Mac. Um, once you have that in place, next we have to go download the driver. We're going to go, you can use a CD that came with your printer, or if you don't have the CD, you can go to Epson.com. Here, click on drivers and support, then just type in 7890 or 9890, depending on which model you have. Hit search, and it's going to pop up with your printer. You're going to click on the Epson Stylus Pro 7890. Not worried about the feedback at this point. I'm going to click on drivers and downloads, and then you're going to see your printer driver. It's going to automatically detect whichever operating system you have. Just simply click on the download here. And we're going to wait five seconds for the download to begin. You see that come down? Just click on the arrow down and go ahead and start downloading the driver. Now I already have this driver downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it from here. The DMG file. So it's going to open up. And you'll see the package inside. Double click on the package. It's going to tell it You'll notice here the drivers for the 7890 or the 9890. I'm going to hit continue. Continue on the license agreement and agree. And then I want to make sure this is installing to the Mac HD. I'm going to hit install. And again, it asks for your password. Again, since I don't have a password set, I'm just going to hit install software. Wait for it to copy the files where it needs them to be. This does take a moment, so go bear with it. All right, once the installation is successful, click on close, and then just simply connect the USB cable from your printer to your Mac. Once it's there to verify it installs, we're going to click on the Apple, go to System Preferences, go to Printers and Scanners, and we're going to notice uh, I have an Epson. Stylus Pro 7890 in the list. <clears throat> from here, we're going to close out, and the rest of the configurations are going to be done from our application. So I'm going to open Photoshop Elements. You will have to open a new blank document. And you want to do File and Print. The Print dialog comes up. You want to select the printer we just installed. Um, you do want to go into more options. You want to go to color management, 
and we want to make sure that the profile we're selecting here is the proper profile. Now this one is going to be E7890 IQPP SPP Superfine RGB Poplin. This is going to be for Profoto Ink. Uh, you want to make sure color handling is Photoshop Elements Manages, the printer profile is the profile we set, and the rendering intent perceptual. And hit OK. Now if this were Adobe Photoshop, you would have a print settings button. If this were Illustrator, you would have printer setup, printer, or just setup at the bottom. Um, this being elements, we're going to hit print, and it's going to take us to an another screen. Now normally this screen will look like this. It's a compacted screen that comes up where basically you pick the printer and the preset. I'm going to click on show details so that we can configure everything. The first thing I want to do is set layout here to paper settings. I want to make sure we're on roll paper. I'm going to set the media type to matte, enhanced matte paper. Our ink set is matte black. Our quality is going to be um, Super Photo 2880 DPI, and I'm going to put a check in Mirror Image. Um, with that going, I'm going to go to Advanced Color Settings and just to verify that the Epson Driver color, pro color Management is set to Off. And once this is set, I'm going to click on the Presets, Save Current Settings as Preset, and I'm going to type in Kindy ICC and hit OK. Now once you have that set, you can hit print here, and every time you go to print from here, when you get to that screen, you're going to have the pull down where you select your printer, and you can select your preset for Condi ICC, and print. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have at Condi System, please give us a phone call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.